Hello everyone, so do you have problem with background noises? Do you want to come from this to this? Way better, right? So I'm going to teach you guys how you can download and set up the RTX voice. So I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, you guys can just scroll down a little bit. These are what you have to do. Oh, and by the way, I don't have a RTX graphic card. I'll show you guys which one I have. I have the GTX 960, which is not an RTX. And I can use the RTX voice software, even though I don't have an RTX. You just pretty much going to click on this one. If you have an RTX, you can click here. You're going to have more options, but just go here, click here. You're going to download and then you do what I'm going to show you right now. So after you're completed, you're going to have this installed. And how does this work? So basically you can remove the background noise of your microphone or of your headphone. I personally recommend you only using for a uh, microphone because this is, you know, um, where you get more, where you get the most noises. But if you are talking to someone, and the person has a lot of background noises going on and you can just click here as well and it's going to take it off but if you are using this for listening to a music it's going to be awful because it's going to like you, you don't have background noise in songs you have the uh, details you have instruments it's, it's going to try to only show you the voice and it's going to take away the whole music so and but if you want to, to use it and because you are talking with someone you can select your output device mine the one i'm using from this earbud is this one okay and then you go to the output devices and then you put rtx voice and then you select this option and then you can change the volume the how much it's gonna remove okay but I don't normally use this, like I showed you in the beginning of the video. This is the part we use. So pretty much you have to select the one you are using. I have a lot of my microphones. The one I'm using right now, this one, the 15K669B. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy it. Uh, you can just select it and click on remove. This is how much you want to remove. Maybe it's not good to put at 100% because it might take a few nuances of your voice, you know. But you can always check, test and see how much of this you're gonna put. Uh, and yeah, let's test again. Okay, so this is with the background noises. Let me put an artificial noise right now, like a, a traffic sound, like this. Okay, so you can hear it. And now you probably cannot. You can't. <laughs> and now you can't. Now you, you can't. Like I showed you for the output devices, in the output devices, if you are using, for example, Discord, you're going to have to go here on voice and video and then change from your usual uh, input to RTX voice. That's the one you're going to have to use, okay? But I'm recording this on OBS, so I already have I already changed it. Now it's on RTX voice. So this is pretty much how you do it. If you are using your usual mi microphone, you can you can do this. It's not going to change anything. You need to, to put in your input device for the RTX one. Okay? A lot of people think this works only for the RTX, but no, you can do this with uh, the normal GTX. 
And yeah, I don't know if it works for the old models, like the really old ones. But yeah, for if you have a 960, 970, 980, 10, 1080, 1070, all of these you can just use this. It's gonna help you a lot. If you have an RTX, just download the NVIDIA broadcast. You're gonna have a lot more options. But for us, we can only use RTX voice. If you want this to initialize with the computer, go to your desktop. You're gonna have it right here. You you copy it or you cut it. You press Windows R. You you type shell. Start up. I'll, I'll leave this in the uh, description. You put OK. And then you put here. So every time you start your computer, this is going to start as well. And you, you are not going to have to worry about forgetting this. Okay. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.